All right, what's good everybody? It's Michael Alder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you the hex style, step-by-step, -step, how to replace a carpet transition strip. So we have sheet vinyl flooring on one side, new carpet installation on the other side. This is a bathroom floor and we're gonna pull the old transition strip out. Now, in many cases, you could just open this up and redo it, but this particular client is redoing their whole house. So we're gonna go ahead and put everything new in across the board. So we got our new gripper metal lined up there. I'm gonna take my 10 snips and rough cut it because why use a tape measure when you could just cut it three or four, five, six, seven different times until you get it perfect. So I just mark it on one spot, cut it with the 10 snips, then I line it up to the actual jam and realize that I cut it a little bit hefty. So we're just gonna trim a little bit more off of this one side here till we get it just right and we could set it in place. Now let's see if I did it right this time. Maybe, maybe, oh yeah, there we go, we're good. Now, the subfloor under this is wood. So this is real easy, we could just drop regular roofing nails, sinker nails, any kind of long wood nail into each and every hole or every other hole, however you prefer, to go ahead and make sure it's secure. And once you've dropped the nails in it, just grab it by the lip, give it a little wiggle wiggle to be sure it's secure enough to hold your stretch and you'll be ready to move forward. So I'm just going down the line here, adding nails every other hole it looks like on this particular one, just to make sure it's secure. And then we're gonna go ahead and move forward with the actual st stretching and putting things together. So I think I'm gonna throw one more in the end and let's see if I got it secure enough after this. Bam, 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 bam. All right, grab the metal. Oh no, I wanna add some more apparently. Okay, here we go. Threw a little filler in over here. Now yeah, let's see if I did it right. Let's go ahead and give it a little check check. Nope, I'm not even gonna check it apparently. So I'm gonna trim down the sides of each side of the carpet here so it fits around the door jams. Trim it down and then that way when we stretch it forward we are stretching directly into the metal and we could just tuck the sides when we have a good stretch across the board. So. Fold it back, we're gonna cut it down a little bit so we know exactly what we have to work with as we stretch this into place. Eliminate that, throw it behind you and Prestige Carpets will walk by and pick that up and put it in a garbage bag for you. It's a great service he offers there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my knee kicker and I'm gonna kick it into the gripper metal. I set it about two inches back from where the gripper metal teeth are at. So when I kick it up, it just pushes it up enough to go ahead and secure it on the teeth. I'll crease it into place and then I will trim it in and tuck it to the metal. So using the butt of my carpet knife to crease it onto the uh, tack strip there, you could also use a stair tool, hook knife, whatever. I like to start in the middle, cut a little slit, and I run all the way across, just running my blade across the top of it there, and that way I could just tuck it right into place, and I'm gonna go across the other side, eliminate that excess there, and boom, good to go. So now I just need to tuck it in, I'm using the butt of my knife on this one again. Like I said, you could also use a stair tool or a hook knife. And I'm tucking around the sides, getting everything good to go. And then we're going to go ahead and grab a hammer and ding this thing to death because the industrial look is really what's going on these days. Y'all are missing out if you're not selling your clients on that. So I'm going to take my kicker. I'm going to give it a little love tap into each section there just to make sure it's nice and tight. Boom, boom. Kick nice and tight into the metal. Now I'm going to tap it down with a regular hammer as opposed to a rubber mallet as most people like to pitch. And we're going to go ahead and work our way down the metal here. Just tapping along. Every foot or so I'll go ahead and tap the metal down. Just make sure everything's nice and secure. And once I get to the other end, if you have any high low spots anywhere on it, you just even them out with your hammer and you're good to go. No big deal. This is really a pretty easy process. The only time this would be a challenge is if there's a concrete subfloor and sometimes you could have difficulty getting the nails to grab within the concrete and you'll have to glue it. And this is usually, you know, if you're a newbie or just a DIY type, you're not used to doing it. A little this and that. But let's speed things up and do another one here because that was dragged out far too long. So we're going to go ahead, same thing. We're going to trim the metal up, set it in, boom, boom, kick, 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 trim, 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 tuck, 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 hammer it down, and that is down and good to go. Followed by another one. Remove the old metal. I'm going to cut the new metal, set it in place, cut it again, and then cut it again because that's how I get down. Set the nails into it. This is CarpetExpertBlueprint.com. Be sure to subscribe, comment below, blah, 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 blah. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next video.